Yo yo yo, what's happening people? This is Ghetto Fish 360. Sorry about the camera quality, but I just wanted to show you these three bad boys that I got from a chicken shop, not chicken shop, um, fish and chip shop, around the corner from me, next door to Castle Aquatics. And these are red devils. Obviously the coloration is not great on them. They have suffered from hole in the head from the past with scars, as you can see blatantly on them. But there's two girls, there's two females. And there's one big boy. Now, these guys have no aggression in them at all. Like, where these guys have been interbred so much, they've just been watered down really, really bad. Because I had Blaze in there with the big male. And Blaze was fucking him up. Like, I was shocked. And he just didn't want to fight. And they were even in there with a sick fish. Like, it ain't really well in the head at the moment. And... They're not even bothering him. There's no spawning activity, and that might be because where they've been in the bread so much, none of that's going to happen at all. But yeah, these guys, are, I like them, man. They're nice. I think they're nice fish. Like, you know, everyone wants red devils and stuff like that, and you know, you can't have them in your tank. These guys are alright, you know. But these are going to go to my uncle Bruce's tank. And they're going to look bad in there. And proper, proper nice fish. And they're going to be really. They're so placid. It's unreal. Eat. He, he's a sick fish. There's no aggression in him, in, in him at all. He just wants to be everybody's friend, as you can tell. But yeah, this is the update on the, the three new Red Devils that I've got. Still trying to think of names for them, but I think Uncle Brew helped me out with that. And the two girls there. Really placid. It's mental. I hope. I've had a couple of my friends come up here and looked at them, and just they're just shocked how placid they are. And even more shocked that they got an ill... Not ill fish, but... He's kind of injured in a weird way because his brain's gone. That they're not taking advantage of him or killing him. They're doing nothing towards him. In fact, he's probably the more dominant one in the tank. And he's busted. <laughs> Poor George. I'm sorry, boy. I didn't mean to scare you. He's acting all weird lately, man. That's why his lips busted. But these guys are just fantastic. But yeah, they're going to go to my Uncle Bruce's house to live a nice, happy life in there. I think they need it. Because they came from a tank which was about four foot long and they had about... I think 20 red devils in there and he was the second biggest male there was another one in there that was just gigantic and there was rocks in there and they must the woman said she had them for about 15 years so they must have like interbred 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 over the years that like, just went by and that's why there's probably no aggression in them because they had no space to swim like at the moment it's only been lately that you get the odd one that was swimming away from the other two because since I've been having them for the last 48 hours, all they want to do is swim together. It's crazy. But yeah, this is um, also a shout out to all my people who subscribe me. Sorry I ain't been about. As you can tell, the reason why I haven't been about is because the phone I've got is wank. It is actually pissing me off. So I'll get my new phone in March. So I'll probably only go and do a couple updates on my fish. But once March comes in, I'll get my new phone, my new camera on it. That's when I'm going to start doing my videos. And anyway, by then... I'm going to have loads of surprises for you people. Trust me. Anyway, this is Get a Fish 360 out. Uh, peace.